Jay Young, Chef for Color Cooking Show, guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipe and ideas. Anyway, this is going to be a Caribbean twist curry chicken recipe from Chef Ricardo today. I'm going to be giving you a different style, a different version. I did a quite a few recipe bun, you know what I mean, curry chicken, oh no, different kind of chicken, Thai chicken, but specific this one is going to be a lovely Caribbean curry chicken twist recipe from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe, leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend to a friend and there's a lot more recipe on the web on the YouTube channel for you guys to make at all. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, Chef Ricardo. Thank you for tuning in with my show today. Nice, I love you guys. And basically, I'm in the kitchen, and what I'm gonna do is to marinate this beautiful Caribbean twist curry chicken. If you don't have one of these garlic press, I have them, and they are on my website, chefricardo.co.uk. That's where you can get it. Um, first thing, what I'm gonna do is get my natural blending season right over here which I'm gonna be using at least got one two teaspoon of the natural blending season that's what I got that's the first thing I'm gonna put on it so far and um, secondly we're gonna put the Jamaican fresh thyme on it and also we're gonna put some garlic all right so that's how I said you need to have one of these garlic press when you have the garlic press, this is what happened. You know what I mean? You just work it two times like this, and they are good to go. Everything come out, and they are very, very easy to use. This one, yeah, look at that, amazing. Take off everything off the board, and that's what happened when you are using the garlic press. All right, now that's the garlic, and it's all right. We're using five cups of garlic. All right. We're gonna get all of the natural ingredients first. I got two medium sized white onion, which I'm gonna be using. Also, definitely that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to the chicken, you know what I mean? It's just something different to make do at home in your kitchen, you know what I mean? And remember, as I said, I wash my chicken with either lemon or lime or white vinegar all right that's one of the best way you can um yeah so we're gonna just crack on with the white onion nice one um if you don't you don't have to but i have some this is some leek which i want to use in it you don't have to put leek you can put spring onion what other believe that the natural ingredients works really well you know what I mean and really fantastic yeah nice one so what I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna just simply rub up all of the ingredients together before I put on any other else season and this beautiful Caribbean twist curry chicken, you know what I mean? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fantastic and really, really, really good. All right. And that's the way it looks so far. It's looking really good. All right, let's, let's wash up back my hand. All right, that can stay right there. Got nothing else to cut. Um, yeah, looking really good. So, basically, what we're gonna do now is simple finish, marinate it up, and get in the rest of the flavor of the chick in the chicken. You know what I mean? So, right over here, I have some Jamaican curry powder. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be using roughly about a tablespoon of the Jamaican curry powder. Ah, oh, very strong. I got some all purpose seasoning. I'm going to be using a tablespoon. Little bit of paprika, you don't have to. And we're gonna put some black pepper. 
Lovely. It's amazing. This is just like, to be honest, this one is, sorry about that guys. Um, it's just some chicken and steak seasoning. Um, like jive, like onion, garlic, chili, and coriander. You don't have to stress yourself about this one right here, but it's really good on your meat, you know what I mean? It's beautiful on your meat, I like to use it. I got some turmeric. Chirum I'm gonna put a little bit on it just like this. That's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. I love it. It just works really perfect for me. Some garlic. I'm gonna put all ingredients in the description box. If not, go over to my Instagram and get the recipes. I'm gonna put a little bit of mixed herb. Cost. I believe, I just believe that a natural ingredient do work, you know what I mean? What I'm gonna do is rub it up. It's simple. Just gonna rub it up like this. And that's going to be amazing. Look at that. And that's what they want to do. You know what I mean? To be honest, I have some carrot and potato which I'm already cut up. And just gonna just simple cut those, cook those separately because with this meat, it is very easy to cook because it's diced. Um, it is diced chicken, not the breast. I'm using the Thai bit, the boneless Thai bit. Yeah, it's beautiful, lovely, and nice. And that's the way it look. Look at that, beautiful and nice. You know what I mean? The color and the texture, and it got that lot of season. I use two white onion on it. You know, so it's just beautiful and really nice. All right, guys. So with this now, what we're gonna do is simple wrap it and put it one side for it to yeah. Just put it one side for it to free for it to chill for about a couple of hours, and then I will cook it after. All right. Let's put it into a beautiful bowl. That's you guys can see exactly what's going on right here. Look at that beautiful curry chicken. That is fantastic and an amazing. All right, that's it right there. Beautiful one. So if you like the recipe, as I said, yeah, why not? Beautiful. So, and we have a lot more recipe like this coming for you guys, honestly. A whole lot more recipe, alright? 100% I will see you in the kitchen with more recipe and we're going to be cooking this in the next hour or two hours time. Stay tuned. Beautiful one. So I got a medium sized pot right here. Alright guys. Um, what I'm going to do is use some of my hot and spicy chili oil but it's a light fry oil I've been using. Spray the pot like this. If you want you can use oil but this is more healthier all right well then you're gonna use oil after you do that get three cove of garlic and put in the front pan like that so the, pan, the stove is on and we just want to get this to hot and start to fry all right now it's going to be a very new recipe for enough for you guys because you guys never do something like this before So hopefully you guys will definitely like it all right um, not only that to be honest I have some let's see this one mustard seed if you want you can put a few mustard seed inside of the pot that's a few you don't have to it's optional So what you want to do, you want to get the garlic inside. Let's put a tree cove of garlic inside of the pot. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the mustard seed. Start to, yeah, you know what I mean? So definitely going to bring in a lovely... So 
see this one of those rub it in the pot like that. All right, see? Can you see the pot is hot now? All right, and the mustard them just burst out inside of it. Now, the chicken which I marinated about three to four hours ago, I'm gonna pop that straight inside of my pan. Then the trick is just pour a little water inside of your pan and just rinse you and just put it in your pan like that. That's it. That doesn't, you know what I mean, stick. The chicken doesn't stick. So what you want to do now is turn on your stove low on a medium sized heat and cover your pot and just allow that to cook. While you keep cooking, we're gonna be stirring it. All right, please enjoy it, guys. It's beautiful. Basically, this is a chicken curry right here. Right over here, I have some potato and carrot which have been boiling. Now we're gonna pour off the water for this one. That one is finished. All right. Now with the chicken curry, as I say, is a Caribbean twist chicken curry recipe from Chef Ricardo. Do some unique style after the tweet. So here it is, potato and carrot. Do you see that? All right, guys. Nice one. All right. Now I have two. I'm using vegetable stock because it's more healthier. That's one. You don't want to rush it and cook it, you know, make everything with us. Just want to take a little time. And cook this beautiful Jamaican curry, Caribbean twist curry chicken. Look at that. Amazing. Fantastic. Lovely. The color, the texture, everything. So we're just going to allow that to cook for another good 10 to 15 minutes. All right very low heat let's taste it and see mm, that's perfect chicken stock does vegetable stock does bring in that flavor you know Oof. lovely enjoy it okay all right now i want to say to my family friends everyone who supports you for god eh? anytime you're doing like chicken or whatever at home Try and do a lot of vegetables. Very important, all right? I got some tomato. Gonna make 
a little salsa. Alright, always try and do a lot of vegetables. Honestly, never go wrong. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of a salsa. We got cucumber. Just be careful, health and safety when you're using your knife. And not only that, chicken almost ready. Health and safety when you're using a knife, just be careful, all right? Not only that, this 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 right here can make for Father's Day, you know? honestly. Something, you know what I mean? Because Father's Day is coming up, so. So I'm gonna simply chuck some pasta in it, Jeffrey God up. Look at that. Mm. Beautiful. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful one. looking good look at that amazing all we're gonna do now is put some pepper and a little bit of chili wow. it's fantastic guys honestly Stuff in. You can put oil, vinegar, dressing, whatever, but I just keep my own simple to go with my dinner. Alright, let's check on the curry chicken. See that little bit of bubbling in the pot? Look at that. Lovely. That is amazing. What we're going to do now is simple. I'm gonna plate up the food, the curry is ready, rice is ready, and I just make a salsa. That is fantastic. Alright, enjoy it. Just gonna share this beautiful food that we're gonna have desert. Alright, it's chilly, the chef will call it. This is what happens when you are in the kitchen and you decide to cook come. Some lovely Jamaican food. Jamaica, Jamaica. All right, this is what happened in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo. And I decided today I want to give you guys something totally different on the menu. All right, here it is. That is amazing. That is from Chef Ricardo right there, as you can see for yourself. Beautiful, nice and lovely and easy to make at home. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next time in the kitchen with more recipe from Chef Ricardo on the team. Please tell a friend and a friend to a friend. See you next time.
and lovely guys so basically this is the good news is when I go in my freezer and I take out my strawberry homemade ice cream all right this is what makes me feel really good all right look at that amazing lovely and nice all right you might say chef ricardo oh you make that ice cream well you guys can do the same thing at home if you follow my ingredients it's just strawberry double cream on sweet condensed milk all right so i just stick my ice cream scoop into some hot water so what you want to do you want to Scoop your ice cream like this. Alright. Guys, look at that. Beautiful, nice, and lovely. Alright. What I'm gonna do is to put a few scoops on a plate. That's it, guys. You can see it for yourself. You might as a chef Ricardo. It's not you make that ice cream. Well, I'm telling you. This recipe is from Chef Ricardo and the video is on my YouTube channel and not only that this is my version of ice cream I must say all right honestly yeah this is my version of ice cream really amazing lovely and nice look at that fantastic the whole texture everything is just amazing you know beautiful all right that's exactly what i'm talking about then i got some some of the leftover strawberry from yesterday, which I will still have with me. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, nice, simple, and easy to make. Honestly. See you next time in the kitchen with more recipe from Chef Ricardo. Chef Ricardo homemade ice cream recipe. And that is strawberry flavor. Bye bye. Amazing. Is it Chef Ricardo Fortune? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. That's the only place you can get it, man. Chef Ricardo Factory? Yeah. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Give me a banana this one, please. I'm gonna have that. <laughs>